Jameson is a manufacturer of traceable duct rotters. We call these the duct hunter family, duct hunter. These are very similar to our traditional conduit rotters with one key difference. These have a copper wire embedded inside the rod. It's down the very center of the fiberglass core and then there's a polypropylene jacket on the outside. So very similar to the conventional conduit rotter, but there's a copper wire in the core. What that copper wire does is it becomes your conductive path when tracing underground. Many utilities that are in steel pipe, for instance, steel is conductive. You can clip your conventional locating transmitter to the pipe and trace the pipe directly. But if you have plastic pipe in the ground, that's non-conductive, you cannot apply the signal the same way you would, therefore you need a conductor to carry that signal, and that's where the duct hunter comes to play. So this would be inserted into your plastic pipe and then energized with a transmitter, and you would trace that path as any conventional locate would occur. Jameson offers a family of traceable rotters or duct hunters, all the way from one eighth of an inch outer diameter as large as 7 16 outer diameter. This unit here happens to be about middle of the road. This is a 1 quarter inch diameter. Uh, we recommend this for conduit sizes of approximately 1 inch all the way up to 3 inch. Um, many sewer laterals are larger, 3 and 4 inch. This works well with sewer laterals. Uh, that's why we recommend just a little bit larger conduit size than with a conventional rotter. Um, advantages of using this versus conventional locating with, say, a sond. This is what the industry calls a sond or locating beacon. Um, this is battery operated. Once the battery is installed, it's just installed inside here. Once the battery is installed, this emits a signal. But it only emits from the tip, and this would screw on the tip here. So if you have a non traceable rotter, you can still trace a conduit using a sond, but now you have to move it two feet, find it, move it two feet, find it. And it's a very time consuming job that may take hours and hours and it usually takes two people to do that. Whereas with the Jameson duct hunter, it's continuously traceable along the entire length. So one person can install the rotter, energize it, and then map the utility continuously all the way from point A to point B. They don't have to do it in stages like with a sond. Um, there is a, a, a good application for sonds, but for continuous tracing, the duct hunter is far easier to use and faster to use. We offer uh, a flexible tip for this size duct hunter and larger. What this flexible tip does is it, uh, it, it bounces past obstacles and it allows the, the, the brass tip to remain in good contact with the inside of the pipe. This will give you a better traceable signal. So everything comes, every unit, quarter inch and larger, comes standard with this flexible tip. Helps the signal strength improve. Traceable rotters only work when you have locating equipment. The traceable rotter, the duct hunter, you can consider it as an accessory to the locating equipment that you already own. So many customers, many users may already own locators, such as these, a transmitter and a receiver. Um, they already know how to use them. Their locators will work with the duct hunter. Any make and model locator will work with the duct hunter. Uh, so this simply becomes an accessory to a tool that the end user already has. I should also mention that Jameson has a, a spin-off of sorts of this traceable rotter. Uh, to trace live gas lines and, or live water lines. Um, this is a specialized market, obviously. Uh, we have a dedicated salesperson for that, so if you do have a customer that has needs to trace, trace live gas or live water, please contact Jameson, uh, and we will uh, put them in contact with our sales manager who handles that specialty market. Okay, um, like I said, works with anybody's, any make and model locator. This is an example. Jameson sells our own version of this. This is a transmitter, and this is a receiver. The transmitter is what applies the locating signal to your conductive path. 
So if you were going to, you could clip this directly to a steel pipe, or you could clip it to the duct hunter. The way you do that with our duct hunter is there's a an end fitting on the on the back end of the reel, and this simply clips to it. And now the rod is energized when this is turned on, obviously. So this applies the signal of a specific frequency that you select, the user selects. With your receiver, you select the matching frequency, and now this is tuned to pick up the signal that the transmitter is emitting. There's a second part of this video where I'll take you outside and show you exactly how these two work together, but that's the basics of it. Um, oh, I should also mention the other end of the, um, the transmitter. Think of it like a circuit. There's always got to be a complete circular path. The red lead goes to the rotter, the black lead goes to the ground spike. So this will be driven into the earth, into the dirt. And the signal from the rod passes through the dirt back to your ground spike. And that completes your circuit. That's what makes tracing possible. This is the Jameson Duck Hunter, quarter inch.